Hello everyone, today I am going to create this parametric ceiling with the help of the curtain panel I have created in the previous video. The link is given in the description box. But before we start, let me remind you to like, share and subscribe as it motivates me to create more content. So open new architectural template project file. Go to elevation. I'm going to north elevation. Change the elevation height to 10 feet 6 inches. Now go to messing and site. Click on in place mess. Click OK. Go to level to floor plan. First of all, I'm going to draw the boundary into which I have to place the ceiling. Now place the reference planes as shown in the video. Name these reference planes. Go to North Elevation and place a horizontal reference plane at this height. The difference between level 2 and this reference plane should be 1 feet 6 inches. I have extended the boundary outside the boundary line so drag them back so that it remains within this boundary. Go to North Elevation, set the reference plane to 1. Click on this Show button and then draw so that you know the place of the reference plane to draw upon. As it is a curvilinear ceiling, so I am drawing it with the help of this SP line with control points. Repeat this process on all the other reference planes.
the drawing with the help of SP line is now complete. Delete this boundary and select all these SP lines and click on create form. The surface for the parametric panels is now complete. Now click on this surface, click on divide surface, select the pattern of rhomboid. Select it's this surface. Now the distance between the diagonals should be two feet. So add a distance of two feet between U grade and V grade. Now open the curtain panel file of parametric panel the tutorial of which I have shown in the previous video. Click on load into project. Go to 3D top view, select the surface, go to pattern and click on ceiling panel. The pattern has now loaded onto the surface but it has same dimensions each and every one has each and every panel has same dimension and I have to change it. If you simply click on this design whole ceiling will be selected. But if you want to select only one panel, then press tab button on keyboard and then click on this panel. You can change the moving height from here. For example, I am going to add 4 inches. Then click apply. Then only this ceiling panel will change its dimension. Now I have to add some formula so that the moving pattern of the ceiling is random. So click on this moving height, add a new parameter with the name A, click OK, again click OK. Now this parameter will be in the dialog box of this ceiling panel properties. And if you change the height, from this dialog box then that ceiling pattern will change its dimension as I have to keep the moving height between 0 to 8 inches I'm going to add new parameters from A to F no oh, sorry A to G so keep on adding new parameters Now add a formula in B which is if and A is greater than 0, comma A is less than 8 inches, then A plus 1 inches comma otherwise B should be 0 inches make it 1 inches instead of 0 inches now if you change the dimension of A B will automatically change its dimension according to the formula 
Now copy this formula and paste it here. Simply change replace A with B. And instead of one here, make it two inches. Add the similar formulas in all the other parameters. Now if you will change the dimension of A, all of the other parameters will change its dimension as well according to those formulas. Now randomly select some panels in this 3D. And assign a parameter to the moving height from here. I, I have assigned it E. Now select some other panels. And assign a parameter to their moving height as well. I'm going to assign it D. Repeat this process for all the other parameters as well.
Now open the properties box and change the dimension of A. I'm going to add one inches to it. Click on apply. Now you can see that all of these parametric ceilings have changed their dimensions as well. So now you can add any value and these ceiling panels will change its dimensions. This ceiling should face downwards so I'm going to select and mirror it. Now click on finish mess but if you want to change the values of those uh, moving heart panels so you have to again go into the mess mode. This is how the ceiling looks like from below. And this is the render view. This is all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any queries, feel free to ask. Also, if you want me to upload any specific tutorial, just tell me and I will try to upload it as soon as possible. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. Don't forget to watch my other videos as well. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content.